Okay, this example asks us to find the critical value that forms the boundaries of the critical region for a two tail test with alpha is 0 0.05, which is alpha level, a significant level, for a sample size of 14. So, I'll pretty much things is given, what are given, sample size is given, alpha level is given, and also it states two tail test. Okay, so and says find the t value so we're going to find actually t value from the t distribution table so this is not confusing here there is a two table z table and t table so we know it's going to be t table clearly there right or if it is not normally distributed we basically go with the t table also if sample size is less than 30 we use t table too so well how do you read so many things in t table so this is a t distribution table we're going to have all this inside this is the critical t value critical value so i'll area in one tail the first row area in one tail is the problem states one tail no problem is just two tail so this is the second row we are going to work it out second row we're going to work it out so these are the commonly used alpha okay this is commonly used significant level extreme values rejection area so 0 0.0199%, 98%, 95%, and so on. So this is basically alpha level. So as alpha is given here, 0 0.05. So this is two tail. We're going to use the second row. Okay, so we're good. Now we know which rows we're going to use to get the critical value. But there is one more thing. So many of them here. If it is 0 0.05, we know we're going to get one of those numbers from here. But look at that. This number are so big. Okay. So, well, there is something written, degree of freedom. So, what is degree of freedom? Degree of freedom is basically, degree of freedom is basically n minus 1. In other words, in this case, we have 14 minus 1, that is 13 is the degree of freedom. This degree of freedom describes the number of score in a sample that independent and vary, free to vary, actually. This is the degree of freedom means, okay? So that's a 13 degree of freedom is free to vary so we go down 13 remember we are not going 14 we're going to go to 13 so this is a 13 and we come down here as you clearly see so let me go off here okay so that's 13 and under this one two tail so this is this is the one so our critical value our critical value is basically cd is equal to plus and minus why is plus and minus because two tail 2.160 i want to mention something here if you don't find your degree of freedom here for example if you go down sometimes and the you know question asks you to find the t distribution use t distribution table and find the critical value which is possible and you don't see that number Remember, go to the closest one, round and go to the closest one, and you find your critical value. Okay, so what does this mean actually? Let's take it, let's, let's have a little bit of understanding here. Okay, so this really means you have a bill shape. Okay, so this is basically zero and one two three standard deviation always one two three negative three standard deviation and this is 2.160 2.160 2 2.160 most probably i'm going to have this one here so these are my critical reason well this is basically 2.1 so this point here 2.160 let's go a little bit up here which is a plus and up here is negative 2.160 so this point here is negative 2.160 that's why it's plus and minus so this is basically the rejection area also and we need this for hypothesis test so this is extreme values as you see so this is basically 0 0.05, 0 0.05. And in the middle is basically the confidence level. So that, that is how we find the critical value for tree distribution. Thank you.